Hello guys, uh, this is my second video about flight tying. Today I would like to show you how to tie uh, this bait fish minnow, which is great for fishing roots, mainly in uh, small streams and brooks, creeks, along the banks or under the stones. Uh, yeah, so, start with a trip. is in Barbara's hook. This one is from Hans BL700. In this case it's size 6. You can choose bigger or smaller. It's like from uh, like 8, 8 to, to size 4 is possible. We Add some wire for rims. Cover the hook by the thread, and as we're going to fish this in a small waters, we were probably using floating lines, so we add a little weight in a plump wire. Not really a lot, just like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight or so. I had a glue here. Secure this and reshape the body. I'm going to use multi fiber from Timco, which, as they say, almost disappear in the water. It's going kind of translucent effect. So we dab it on the thread, just roll it. I don't use uh, I don't use a wax thread because I don't think it's necessary. With a bit conic, so the fly is going to be the body is going to be conic. Now, I think that's it enough. We're about to make ribs. Forgot about the feather. So here it is. This one is turkey feather, but you can use pheasant also or some some big feather. That like I don't know, it's like three centimeters or so. Put it together. No. And trim this. It's going to be like this long. So as you can see, you can 
put it there almost the wall end. Get rid of this. Okay, I think we need a bit more. So just a little bit more. Tied it really hard, so it's not going to move around the hook. We're also going to add a glue. So, tie this. Okay, now I'm going to add uh, a little green part. This one is spectra dubbing, but you can use some sparkle flashing dubbing green. The same process dubbing on, on a thread. Just do like this now as you can see the front part will be red but now we have to add uh, this little fins which are made of a flashable you probably know this and I'm using this color I don't know if you can see this really because it's really flashy. So take a few of these just like you know 10 or 15. Very short, like a centimeter or so. Now go to the to the other side with the rest. Oh. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Trim it to a similar length. Just don't cut it, just trim it like so it's a kind of random length. Now the red part. Okay. Try if this is going to work. For me, probably it will. So I'm going back with the thread, just like this. I don't really care about the the rip of the thread on the surface. And you are about to put it back, do it tight, 
as you can and secure it this here But what we are going to do now is use uh, some UV glue. This one is bug bond. Uh, you need, if you don't know this, you need also the UV light like this which is going to cure the glue you put the glue on the top put, I put it on all over the land and cure it with the light it's like 20 seconds for now is okay or maybe 10 can be You can also do this with a epoxy, but you will have to wait. Okay, as you can see, it's now cured. I will uh, finish this. Just a few of these. Put the glue even here and even the front part. This, this glue is great for the buzzers and all, all the flies you usually do in with the apple. So, cure it. Okay, it's enough for now. Trim the thread. We don't need it anymore. Just rotate it in a vise. If you have rotated rotary vise, it's better for you. Now, I'm going to use epoxy eyes. I will choose yellow here. I don't know if you guys can see this. Put it here. Okay. And I cover this by the glue too. Can add another layer so you sure it will hold on, the, on its place. This glue is going to cure also on a on a sun because it contains the UV light, but it's going to take longer, like I don't know, 15 minutes or so. I'll go for the other side, the same process. Here, okay.
you can cover all the front red part so we will hold it really sure So we are almost finished here, this is my second video since the last time it was my first video and I have two subscribers which I really didn't expect it on the YouTube so thank you for this, one was I think Carl, so cheers Carl and the other guy, I'm not sure, I didn't saw the name here, there, so that's enough for now. Okay, that's it. That's our bait fish minnow for truths. As always, time more than one because once you're going to lose one, you will be set. You don't have another one. <laughs> okay, one, two, one for your father, and so on. Okay, thank you for watching and. Bye-bye.